Hi guys, Dan the Wolfman here, MMAForSelfDefense.com. I'm going to show very simple, probably your number one defense to the jab for MMA and anything is the catch. The rear catch and then firing back. We're going to do four and you can learn to do it in a series and it's a good way to practice. You're going to catch and return with the jab as, as two beats, like rhythm and music. Catch and jab back. Then when you get the guy's rhythm down, you're going to catch and return simultaneously. Catch and jab simultaneously. Then when you get their arm tired and because you're catching, they're not bringing their hand straight back to their chin. They're not bringing it straight back, but they're doing this as a small circle down. Get that. You're going to catch and make them do this, then they're open to the right hand. So you're going to catch and throw the right hand, or catch and one, two. So you're going to do all four of those. I'm going to show, show them slowly, and then we'll do... Um, ready? Catch and return, Jack. Catch and return, Jack. You catch with forward spring pressure. You always put forward pressure in your arm. Here, with your fingers pegged together, like you're catching a baseball in the glove. Like you're catching a baseball, and then scoop it down. Catch the baseball, and then a little scoop. Don't reach out and pop. If I reach out and pull, then he sees that and he gives me the left hook. He goes jab three, he goes one three. So do it again and give me one jab three. You're open for the left hook. So if you pull out, you're going to get left hook. You're going to get the one three combination on instinct to get someone good. So you catch. You catch strong. Huh? You catch strong in the ball. I do that because of forward spring pressure. And then I hook down. I hook down and take his arm in a circular path. Get his arm so it goes in a circular path and tires out his deltoid. That opens up his chin. So the first one I'm going to catch the jab. Catch the jab, right? Catch and jab. Catch and jab. Catch and jab. The second one is simultaneously it's more efficient. Uh, unless the guy's got a huge reach advantage on you, then sometimes you can't. You'll move into the, the strike, so you got to catch and then return after. Okay, but this one simultaneously. Go. Go. Boom. Go. Ha. Go. Ha. Go. Ha. Catch and jab back simultaneously. I'm getting his rhythm down in the fight. Then the next one, his arms turn out. I'm seeing he's not keeping his hand up and he's looping here. I, I'm not letting him return it back. I'm going to catch and right hand over the top. Catch and come over the top. Catch two. Okay? And then the fourth is catch, jab, cross. Okay, now I'll do it in a series, okay? I'm going to try and do one through four, but if I get hooked up, I'm going to miss one, oh well. Okay, so we'll circle now. Okay, so we'll Idea of a good way to practice. Rip away from the power hand. There's your catch and return. Practice that, guys.